Gene Deal goes off on WAC 100 for speaking on his name and claiming that he fabricated a story about Diddy and Curtis going to the feds on death row. What up, YouTube? This is Getty Radio back at you with another video. I want to give a big salute to all of my supporters and anyone watching this video right now. And if you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the Getty gang. Why don't you? Let's get to the content. Okay, Gene Deal fires back at WAC 100 and says he ain't no OG and that he needs to keep his name out of his mouth. He also speaks on the night that Biggie Smalls was killed and said he was not the security detail for Biggie on that night. In fact, he says he was only hired to secure P. Diddy. He also speaks on people wanting to put hands or touch WAC 100 back in those days and said DJ K. Slay prevented that from happening, man. The conversation is interesting. I'm going to let y'all get to it, man. Shout out to Gene Deal. The link to his channel will be in the description this is getty radio let's go this nigga's stupid man he always running his fucking mouth man whack stop the bullshit boy because i was k family and everything like that stop the bullshit Stop trying to make motherfuckers just think that Gene was just security. Nigga, I was protection. And then you try to paint pictures for people to see. You wasn't even there to see nothing, bruh. Was you 18, 19 years old? And Suge said you was a driver. How much information you know just for driving Suge? Yo, you ain't get into the business and shit like that till K put you down, K help you get the business, in the business. Nobody knows you knew you, bruh. A lot of shit didn't happen to you, boy, because of K. It was a lot of niggas that wanted to pop your cap, man. Even on that first boat ride, when you got mad, bruh, because niggas was on your girl's heels, and it looked like she was giving them fever. You got upset, niggas was about to pop your cap there. And it was stop. You be running your fucking mouth, boy. I said that shit a long time ago, way before Kanye, that Kirk and Puff took some paperwork with this other guy to the feds. And it was about Suge them. It used to be a room in Bad Boy. They used to, we all be in that motherfucker. And we all, I ain't going nowhere. I'm, I was family. And you got your information wrong, nigga, when I stopped working for them in 97. In 99, he brought me back because Wolf said, Yo, Jing, Jing, you wanna go come back to work? I said, I don't give a fuck, man. And we was at we was at Justin's. Puff said, Yo, Jing, you wanna come back? I said, I don't care, what's up? He said, meet me in my office on Monday. That was at the Super Bowl in 99 in Atlanta. So you trying to make you painting pictures for motherfuckers that you don't know what the fuck you talking about, stupid. Oh yo, Pyro shit. You playing with the wrong one, Wack. I'm telling you. I know more about you than you know about me. And this nigga's just waiting for somebody to push the button. And I'm like, no, nah, man, that was K-Man. No, nah, man, that's K-Man. I'm not going to let you do that. I'm not going to have K rolling over in his grave on me. If you knew how many niggas that came to me. Okay, first of all, let me give a rest in peace to DJ K Slay, man. Legendary DJ. We recently lost him due to COVID complications. Rest in peace and condolences to his family. But it sounds like to me, Gene Deal is saying that since K Slay's passing, there have been people that have been coming to him who wants to touch WAC 100. Now, that's what I'm hearing because he said he don't want K Slay rolling over in his grave. Now, is Gene Deal saying that right now to this day, at this point, that there are people out there that want to do something to whack 100 because of what he said about gene deal or maybe there's people since back then when he was talking about the incident with his lady that still want to do something to whack 100 and he's saying that he's telling those guys to back off because k slate would not like something being done to whack 100 and that would really upset him and gene deal is saying that he's respecting the wishes of k slate and keeping whack 100 safe that's what it sounds like to me y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section let's get back to it they don't give a about that pyro shit, but you always running your motherfucking mouth and you wrong. When I stopped working for Puff in 99, it was because he didn't want motherfuckers to know. I was never on no detail for Big. I was always there for Puff, you stupid. Big had his own security. Look at the paperwork from Arista. You can't even walk on the same street with me, bro. 
I'm letting you know that. Because anytime you try to tag some and make mother, you got a voice out here and you try to make motherfuckers think dumb shit. Puff ain't saying that because I saved his motherfucking life. I was his security. Go some more. Oh, Puff let him go. Like, Puff didn't want me around because he knew I was going to tell niggas. Man, that nigga didn't listen to me. He didn't listen to Chaz. He didn't listen to Wolf. We was trying to tell us I ain't nobody's security. I wasn't K security. I was K family. I don't do security, nigga. I do family. Gene was just security. He was always outside. The nigga, get the f out of here. I wouldn't know what I know if I was always outside the door. Stupid. You was never around no bad boy shit. How the f you gonna speak on something that you was never around? You was 18, 19 years old if you was dead. And you was in Cali. You stupid, man. Stop running your motherfucking mouth. But that's how you making your money now. That's how you want to build up your clubhouse. You got them motherfuckers over there fooled. You need to stop that shit, man. I want this to get back to you, whack. Because you talking a lot of bullshit, nigga. I go back to work to 99 to 2004. I said, man, I ain't doing this shit no more. I heard that nigga tell Wolf, and, and, and two days later, that's when I did Wolf. He told the nigga Wolf, I'm gonna pay you your three, $300,000 back and I ain't gonna have to fuck with you no more. I heard him say that to Wolf. And I'm bringing that up because of this. If I'm on the outside the door, why am I hearing about the Wolf business? You talk shit that you don't know nothing about. If I go back in 2000, if I go back in 99 and work to 2004, you out your motherfucking mind, nigga. See, you see how stupid you are? Puff got rid of him because he, you trying to make motherfuckers, you drawing conclusions, you trying to make up shit in your mind because it sound good. Whack, you need to stop that shit. Keep my name out your motherfucking mouth, man. Me and Diddy business ain't got shit to do with you. And what I told you just to get you out of there. I don't owe you no explanation, no nothing. Until this nigga apologize for getting that kid killed, for not listening to me, for this nigga apologize for not doing what he was supposed to do, for motherfuckers, fuck him, you, and anybody look like you got your last name and wrote on a boat with your country, hillbilly country ass. Don't play with me, don't play with my name, whack. Leave me out your motherfucking mouth. Because K ain't here no more. Man. And only reason I respect, I respect what he felt about you. Stop playing, boy. All right, we gonna leave it right here, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this audio, man. Gene Deal goes off on WAG 100 and tells WAG 100, keep my name out your mouth. And he speaks on WAG 100, speaking on P. Diddy and Kurt going to the feds on death row. WAG 100 was saying the story doesn't hold water. He says Gene Deal is fabricating the story. Gene Deal comes back and says, how do you even know what the hell was going on around that time around Bad Bull Records, P. Diddy and everything, considering the fact you was a young young man and you was way out in california and the east coast west coast beef was going on gene deal didn't say that but that's what was happening back then before the demise of tupac and uh biggie smalls there was an east coast west coast beef so there was no way for whack 100 to know about what was going on around p diddy but gene deal says he wasn't only outside of the door but he was inside of the door on big meetings and impertinent conversations that p diddy was having he spoke about the wolf thing said he wanted to give wolf three hundred thousand to get away from him right he says if he wasn't inside the door how does he know about the wolf business right now it seems to me that gene deal is blaming p diddy for biggie small's demise because he said that he warned them not to go over to the west coast said that he would not listen didn't listen to him didn't listen to wolf and didn't listen to someone else and he says he needs to apologize for getting that young man killed because p diddy was hard-headed did not listen to them they told him not to go they said the west coast was dangerous this was at the height of the east coast west coast beef tupac had already been killed and I guess he had a gut feeling that they were going to try to get some vengeance on Bad Boy Records simply because Tupac had passed away, Life After Death had dropped and they had a couple of diss records, a couple of slick remarks on Long Kiss Goodnight, you had the What's Beef record, you had the Going Back to Kelly record, and you had the Who Shot You record, right? And I guess Gene Deal felt like, hey man, we don't need to be going out there, but P. Diddy's thinking about the money, or I guess he's like, look man, we got security, we're going to go out there, we got to go out there and get the bag, we got to do the Cali run, we got to go, man. But what do y'all think about this in 
tire situation, man. Is Wack 100 out of line? Should Wack 100 apologize to Gene Deal for speaking out of turn? Or is Gene Deal just defending himself and standing on his square like he's been doing for the longest of times going at P. Diddy? Because as far as I've been checking and as far as I know, Gene Deal's story hasn't changed, man. He's got videos on Vlad TV. He's got videos on his channel. He's been speaking about these issues, these incidences around the death of Biggie Smalls and around the curious case of P. Diddy, Tupac, Death Row, Suge Knight, the whole nine yards, man. And did I hear Gene Deal say that he may have been messing around with P. Diddy's mother, man? Did he say that? Did y'all catch that in the audio, man? Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. This has been Gatty Radio. I appreciate you being here. Please like, comment, subscribe. I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.